watching Central Florida On Demand, only on White House Networks. Bonjour. Can you smell that coffee, that butter? We're in Poisson Gourmet, a traditional French bakery in Winter Park. Let's take a look behind the scenes and find out what these baked goods are all about. First of all, they're pronounced croissant, I ask. Second, they're the love child of François Cagne, who began working with French pastries as an apprentice at 16 in his hometown in the north of France and has made its artistry his career. I am a pastry chef for 20 years mm -hmm. and uh, I use exactly the same technique than in France. Uh, so it's why we can, we can call it that authentic. Francois owns Poisson Gourmet with his brother, Philippe, who handles what they call the salt. In other words, the quiches and other items that are savory. Poisson Gourmet is open for breakfast and lunch. Uh, my first employee started at, at 3 o'clock. It's my assistant, Amy. 3 a.m.? Yes, 3 a.m. Because we, we make everything every day, so uh, we have to start four hours before the opening to, to have the croissant and the pastry ready at 6.30 and it sells two kinds of things. Pastries, like Napoleon's and Eclair's, which you see in this glass case, and light meals like sandwiches and quiches. And of course, the croissant, which are made using the traditional French method and with a certain kind of butter that is designed specifically for this type of bread and imported from France. We make uh, the dough with uh, flour, butter, water, eggs, and sugar, salt, and yeast. So when you, you use the yeast, the yeast, uh, you know, the yeast as a process to rise your, your dough. So you, you start to, to mix your dough, and after that you have to leave your dough quiet on the place to start the process of the yeast, you know? And after that, you introduce the butter inside the dough to, to make like a layer. Here's what I do. I stop into Poisson Gourmet for lunch. I always order the croque madame sandwich. It's three slices of white bread cooked in clarified butter. In other words, the cream has been removed from the butter. Stacked between the slices are bechamel sauce, black forest ham, and Swiss cheese. To top it all off, a fried egg is placed on top. The sandwich comes with a salad, which is always made of fresh greens that are lightly dressed with the flavorful vinaigrette. By the way, this is only $6.70. Other items are tempting too, like a quiche Lorraine. Even the buttery dough for the savory custard pie is made from scratch. And a niçoise salad, which is romaine lettuce tossed with tuna, tomato, cucumber, onion, potatoes, and olives. Once I finish lunch, I always return to the counter and order goodies to take home. I might fill my box with bear paws or danishes, fruit tarts, or apricot squares. On a good day, they'll last till dinner, but they're often devoured long before. The Napoleon, that is uh, one of the favorites, the, the mixed food tart with the fresh food. We have also the speciality like the wonderful, it's a meringue and chocolate mousse. While the foods at Poisson Gourmet are authentic, the service style is not. In France, the French people from the house go in the bakery, pick up bread and go back home to breakfast or pick up bread and pastry, go back home to, to eat that. And uh, we don't have the chair, we don't serve the breakfast, no lunch. The bakery in France is only bread, bakery item and pastry. So in USA, we have to, to serve the breakfast because it's your culture to, before go to work, stop somewhere to pick up something to eat. You've told me that Winter Park reminds you of a European city. How so? I know Winter Park uh, now for 10 years ago. I visit many times Florida before move in USA from France. And uh, the first time I visit Winter Park, I'm falling in love about this area because in France, our downtown, it's more like that. It's a small street with a city hall, church, and uh, you have a, a many store with different, uh, every shop are different. With, uh, so looks very European, more than European, friends. Francois has big plans. He's looking to open other bakeries around Central Florida and maybe a fashionable dessert bar. 
Ooh la la, one might say. The next time you're in Winter Park, stop in for an ahem, crescent roll. You'll never be satisfied with poppin' fresh again. I'm Rona Gindin, and you're watching On Dining. To learn more about local restaurants from food and travel writer Rona Gindin, go to our website, ronagindin.com. Also, Rona is the author of two food and travel books, The Little Black Book of Walt Disney World, and Eat Orlando, Great Meals Wherever You Are.